Ready, folks? And we're back in the same outfit. We never change outfits. Sh joke's on you guys. Uh, we're going to be reacting to the Black Widow teaser trailer. I'm here with Max. We have Christina here, who's manning the computer for us, womaning the computer for us. And we're, uh, I'm really excited for the Black Widow teaser trailer. I have tried so hard to avoid it. It's everywhere on Twitter right now. I haven't seen it. I'm going in cold. Yeah, I am too. I've seen a little bit. Um, so I know a little bit about the characters who are going to be in this movie. But, you know, okay, I'm good. You're going to have to help me out there because yes. I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to reserve all judgment until after we see it, and then we can talk about it. But I already know some complaints that the Internet's having because that's what the Internet does. It complains. So, so before we watch this, this has been in the in the works for a while, right? At least people have wanted a Black Widow movie. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been talked about for years. When is she going to get her own movie? Mm -hmm. It hasn't happened. No. Why now? I, you know, like, that's a... Honestly, the rumor that had gone around was that, like, Marvel thought that a female-led movie wouldn't do well at the height of all the superhero stuff, which is right. Yeah, exactly. That's the exact great reaction to have. So I can't help but feel like this movie is owed to us, like, six years ago, you know? Right. And now she's dead. Uh, spoilers for Endgame. Sure, but, right. Sure. So now we get this this Black Widow movie, but the Black Widow character is effectively like irrelevant at this point in terms of like plot or whatever. So I think the idea is that they're handing off the baton. You're going to meet a character who will take the Black Widow's place because that's canon in the comic books. She kind of has a blonde foil um, who appears as Black Widow in uh, numerous different storylines. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm the more intrigued. You know. The more yeah. you know. All right, let's Let's go. check it out. Let's do it. I just have nothing. And then I got this job. This family. Why nothing last forever? I think this is supposed to take place like when they all split up. Mm -hmm. It's never easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done living from my past. I know you're out there. I ain't no one around here. So are we gonna talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? Whoa. What brings you home? We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. Is that dad? And mom, I guess we can oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I Your thoughts. It's a teaser trailer. Mm -hmm. I'm not overwhelmed by it. And I, like, of anybody sitting in this room, am probably the biggest Marvel fan. You know, you're watching this on my YouTube channel where I do nothing but review comics. Like, you probably get it. Mm -hmm. But, like... Oh, I... I'm cool with it. They look a little fast and furious -y with some of the stuff they're doing, and, you know, that's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm going to see this. Yeah, of course I'm going to see it. I'm probably going to see it opening weekend, if not opening night, because that's how I roll. But it's mm -hmm. just, I don't know. So uh, my first thing was, great, another Marvel accent that's going to die within the third movie. Like <laughs> right. the Scarlet Witch, yeah. who was Romany. Elizabeth and, Olsen. <laughs> yeah. Love that accent. Yeah, it just so disappeared. Wanda Maximoff and Pietro Maximoff, who they, you know, they killed the fastest man on Earth with bullets. I'm not better. Um, they're Romany, and they were supposed to have accents, but then, like, 
you know, Pietro was only in the one movie, so he had the accent the whole time. But by the time Endgame comes around, like Scarlet Witch has no accent; she sounds completely normal. So that's how kind of how I it feel was with these, like, gone by Captain America: Civil War. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how. He's like, about. you guys know I can move stuff with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel. What will happen with these uh, strange Russian? Ask accents, I guess. What can you tell us about some of the other characters that we saw so here? So we're gonna see Yelena, who is the blonde girl, who she calls Sis, which is such a like feed to the audience. Like nobody calls her sister Sis. Like hey Sis, and mm -hmm. it's right. fine. Um, and that is her her foil, that person that does become the Black Widow in some comic books. And uh, they sort of grew up in the same, like, assassin training situation. Okay, so they're not actually sisters. Uh, unless the movie's making them sisters, no. Mm, okay. They're just, like, they are in this, like, dysfunctional, like, family together. And we all, we'll also see Taskmaster, um, who is the bad guy in this movie. Um, and they, a lot of the internet's complaining about how Taskmaster looks. He has this, like, metal mask that he wears. Okay, that was the guy with the with the bow and arrow on top yes. of the tank. Okay, uh -huh. I was yeah. going to ask who that was. He wears like a mask that looks like a skull in the in the comic books rather and mm -hmm. people are like complaining about his look, but whatever, like it's a teaser trailer. Like they still have a lot of like post production to do on this movie. It's not done. So we'll see. I don't really know much about Hopper. Hopper's character. Hopper. <laughs> yeah. Um, we found him. He's not in the upside down. He's he's in Russia. Mm -hmm. He's hanging out with Rachel Wise in Russia. Yeah. And I have no clue who Rachel Wise is supposed to be. And I didn't want to okay. Google it before we came in here because I wanted to like watch it cold and like not read too many fan theories or anything. But I mean, I'm, I'm down for it. I just, yeah, I'm if, not, if, like, aggressively if, impressed. If people are like skydiving while shooting at each other, sign me up. <laughs> so, and that's what we got. What do you think, Christina? Thumbs Christina? Up or down? I'm probably not going to see this. Just based on the trailer alone? Yeah, I don't keep up with Marvel. That's okay. fair. There's right. a lot. Um, yeah. And by watching that, I'm not. It, it didn't interest me. There was like <laughs> way too many question marks for me. It's understandable. Wow. So that's um controversial somebody... opinion. No, I mean going no, in cold. Really. You weren't sold on the teaser trailer, so you better get to work, Marvel. And you have to impress Christina. We're hopeful by your full length trailer that she'll be on board. And that's that's it. And this is the last one. We did three in a row. I'm gonna release them all today, so you're gonna see them all at once. Okay, thanks. We'll see you next time. In different clothes. Maybe. I don't know my life. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you for not keeping up with Marvel stuff. It's so much. There's, There's so, so much. many movies. Like it's just it's like exhausting. I saw stuff in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then my my brother has been watching all of them, yeah. and I'm just like, I can't. Yeah. We recently good. just watched all the Mission Impossibles. I've never seen any of those. I was really tempted to watch the one with Henry Cavill because he's like, it's great. You can just watch Very that without attractive. having seen any oh, of